Good morning. Today we will see the topic ellipse. It is a conic section, one of the topic of ellipse. Point P is moving such a way that the distance of this point PS and PM. We have PS and PM. Now the ratio of this distance that is SP by PM. If you get the SP by PM is equal to a constant, equal to a constant. This constant we define it as E or eccentricity, E or eccentricity. So, in this to get an ellipse, this E is less than 1 for chaye. So, that means SP equal to EPM also we can get. So, now any equation if you know any fixed point and fixed line, we will be able to form the equation of ellipse if E is less than 1 by using the formula SP equal to EPM or sp square equal to e square pm square. Then the same definition can be written in other way around. If two fixed points are there f1 and f2. If these two are the fixed point, a point is moving such a way that their sum is a constant. That is f1 p plus f2 p is a constant. If it is then also this path what it will be moving you will get an ellipse. So, these two fixed points are called the focus. Similarly, in this this fixed point is called focus. And this fixed line is called directrix. So, the definition of an ellipse is the ratio of the distance of a moving point from a fixed point to a fixed line is a constant. That constant we define as eccentricity. This constant should be less than 1. So, usme se aapke ek equation mil sakta. That is one definition. Agala definition kya hai? If two fixed points are there, a path, a locus of a point, moving point P, such a way that the distance of this point, or we can say the sum of the distance of this moving point from two fixed point is a constant. This constant always equal to make their axis length. Now, let us see that as what is major axis further. So, we got the two definition for ellipse. Normally, what is ellipse? If you have a cone, if you have a plane, if it cut like this, then the portion what you will get, this represents your ellipse. Now, let us see that what is the standard equation of an ellipse. This x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1, where b square equal to a square into 1 minus e square. So, this is a case since e is less than 1. So, from this we get b is less than a. This is the first case. In this case, how your curve is? And then let us see that as what are the terminologies which are used in this. So, this is your center that is origin. So, this is your elevated ellipse. The ellipse is generated on this is x axis, y axis. Now, 
these are the two fixed point f1 f2 let us take this as a e 0 minus a e 0 so these are the two fixed point we have and the vertex we have where it is moving and intersecting the axis so this one a comma 0 and a dash minus a comma 0 and this you can name it as b b dash now here two fixed points we have these are called focus we will have two fixed point in this so where the focus line our focus lies on it that is called focal axis or we say major axis what I say the focus where it lies that line is called focal axis or major axis where the curve meet this major axis or focal axis that are called vertices we name it so a and a dash are vertices then f1 and f2 are focus now if you have a line through this focus and the perpendicular to this axis that is focal axis then it is named as lattice rectum let us take this as l l dash and similarly there are two lattice rectums you will get so l1 l1 dash so these are the two lattice rectum we get so now if you substitute x equal to a e in this we get y equals b squared by a so y equal to b squared by a so this one you have that as y length so 2y you will get that is l l dash that is 2b squared by a this is your length of a lattice rectum so a line passing through the focus and the perpendicular to the axis is called the lattice rectum so equation of lattice rectum kya hoga equation of lattice rectum is x equals a e or x equals minus a e so these are the two lattice rectum we get then the another one this is a line fixed line here and this one let us take m m dash n n dash these two are called directrix its equation is x by x equal to a by e x equals minus a by e so equation of directrices we get x equal to plus minus a by e so before that what we have seen where this a perpendicular axis meets that point that is called the center so here origin is the center and where the focus lies that is called the major axis so major axis we can say or focal axis we can say since focal lies on this or focal point or focus lies on this line that line is called the focal axis so that curve meets the focal axis that are called vertices so here vertices r plus minus a zero so these are vertices next what we have seen lattice rectum is what now and then b square equal to a square into 1 minus 
e square from this we get eccentricity equals you get root of 1 minus b square by a square. So, that is e equals root of 1 minus b square by a square we get. So, now eccentricity we got and then focus we got and that is as center equations of directrices. Now, one more thing you note it down here the it is a second degree equation of x square that is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So, therefore, it is symmetric about x axis that means above portion and below portion are same. That means if you are replacing x with minus x it remains the same and y with minus y if you replace it remains the same. Therefore, it is symmetric about x axis and y axis. The ellipse S or ellipse equation is symmetric about x axis and y axis. So, that means the above portion of the x axis and the below portion of the x axis same and left side of y axis and right side of your y axis are same we can get. That. Then see that these are the two focus. The distance between the two focus is f1, f2. The distance between the two focus is f1, f2 means this length is AE and this also AE only length. So, therefore, it gives us a 2 AE and the distance between the vertices distance between vertices kya milega that is a a dash a a dash is 2 a kyunki this is a length and this is a length so a plus a you get 2a length. So, a a dash is equal to 2a that is your major axis length or we say length of major axis. Major axis is the axis where the focus lies. Then the other axis b b dash is your minor axis. So, b b dash is 2b that is length of minor axis. So, length of minor axis is 2b and length of major axis is 2a we get. Now, any point moving in this we can get the focal distance also. The focal distance means if you have any point in this p of x y the distance between this either p f 1 or p f 2 are called focal distance that is p f 1 r r and p f 2 r focal distance. That means from focal or we can say it is a focal radii also. So, now any card passing through this one, the center that is called the diameter of the ellipse. Any card passing through the center is called, suppose if you say that as this one as a CD, the CD is diameter of an ellipse. It is diameter of an ellipse. Now, what we have seen from this uh, standard equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. From there, we got what is a focus 
that is a e comma 0 minus a e comma 0 then the directrices two directrices we will get in the ellipse that is x equal to minus a by e and x equal to plus a by e and focus on f1 a e 0 and f2 minus a e 0 and then two vertices we got a 0 minus a 0 therefore the vertices are plus minus a 0 and then eccentricity from this relation we get e equal to root of 1 minus b square by a square that is your eccentricity since it is a quadratic in x and y so it is a symmetric about x axis that means if you replace x with minus x then it remains the same therefore it is symmetric about y axis if you replace y with minus y so it remains the same so it is symmetric about a x axis we get and then the distance between this to focus is 2ae and the distance between the vertices are 2a that is the length of the major axis and b b dash is the length of minor axis that is 2b and then we have seen that as lattice rectum length is 2b square by a. Now the another one that is any line if it is or any card if it is drawn perpendicular to the axis it is not passing through the focus you can draw here or here these are called double ordinate these are double ordinate of the ellipse now we have seen in the standard equation of an ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 these are the information it is a case when b is less than a next case if b is greater than a in this case also the equation look like x square by a square y square by b square equal to 1 but the relation a square equal to b square into 1 minus a square we get the previous one what we had it b square equal to a square into 1 minus a square so here a b is greater than a so the ellipse elevated along y axis so center origin and now we say this b and b dash are the major axis so that the focus lies on this one f1 f2 can you guess what is the focus it can be so any point lies on y axis means x is 0 so 0 comma b e and 0 minus b e we get so now again this point is 0 b and 0 minus b and this one a a dash a comma 0 minus a comma 0 now here when it is having two focus automatically we get two directrices also one is this another one is this so y equals here b by e and y equals minus b by e so now we got everything and this is your lattice rectum which you can draw that so now what is the center here as well as there also origin only we have at present the center is 0 0 and we get vertices that is 0 comma plus minus b so b and b dash are the 
vertices where the focus line the curve meets that point is called a vertices then focus or foci in plural because we have two we get so zero plus minus b e is the foci then equation of directrices dot y equals plus minus b by e so equation of directrices are y equals plus minus b by e then what is the length of this lattice rectum in this case length of lattice rectum in this length of lattice rectum kya milega that is 2 a squared by b because a and b exchanged so we get length of lattice rectum as 2 a squared by b we get and then we get the length of major axis in this case is to be length of minor axis is 2a here also the same way any card if it is a passing through this two point and a perpendicular to this is called a focal card and any line passing through the focus and a perpendicular to the major axis is called a lattice rectum so we compare both the before cases x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 where a greater than b and now this is a case b greater than a so slight changes the coordinates get changes in this so it is becoming 0 0 is remain same there is no change in that and then what is this changes to 0 plus minus b there what you had it you get plus minus a comma 0 and the foci you have here 0 plus minus b a in the standard equation you had plus minus a e comma 0 and the equation of directrices here you have y equal to plus minus b by e in the standard equation you had x equal to plus minus a by e and the length of lattice rectum as here you have 2 a square by b and the previous case that is a standard equation you had 2 b squared by a and length of major axis here 2 b there 2 a and the length of minor axis here 2 a there 2 b you had it and one more relation a square equals here b square into 1 minus e square so from this e is root of 1 minus a square by b square but in the standard equation of an ellipse what it had 1 root of 1 minus b square by a square so now let us move into if the center of this ellipse if it is changed or shifted to another point then what changes we will get in all these things we see that now if the center is shifted that means the origin shifted to some other point h comma k then it is not rotating it is simply you are moving this ellipse such a way that from this to this point you are shifting it is parallelly this axis is parallel then what changes the ellipses like this if you have so this is your hk a point is shifted to so now what will be the new coordinates for this you get is your equation can be x minus h whole square by a square plus y minus k whole square by b square equal to 1. So this is a case here the center is shifted or the origin is shifted parallel to the axis 
to the point h comma k so here if you want you can replace this as x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 by shifting the origin to the point h comma k so now if it is a case what are the changes we will be getting so now center center kya milega normally we get x equal to 0 y equal to 0 this is your center so but here x is what x minus h so x minus h equal to 0 y minus k equal to 0 so that means you get h comma k as the center that means it is shifted from this point to that one h comma k then what will be the vertices vertices if it is a case we say that as plus minus a comma 0 so plus minus a comma 0 we get if this is a standard form of the equation of an ellipse means but it is shifted to this where h comma k so according to this this coordinate also get changes so what you will change you get h plus minus a comma 0 plus k is k so now your new vertices is h plus minus a comma k similarly foci foci what we have if it is a standard form we know that it is plus minus a e comma 0 since the vertices are the center changed to h comma k so we get the new foci as h plus minus a e comma 0 plus k that is k so this is your new foci so we got new vertices h plus minus a comma k and new foci plus minus a e comma 0 if it is then the new one is h plus minus a e comma k similarly equation of directrices also get changed according to the your origin changes so what will be the equation of directrices so equation of directrices normally we have x equal to plus minus a by e x equal to plus minus a by e we get x equal to plus minus a by e we have but here x is what x minus h so x minus h equals to plus minus a by e or we get x equals to plus minus x equal to h plus minus a by e is the equation of directrices we get what is the length of lattice rectum it remains the same that is 2 b squared by a it is not having because it is not affected because of the changes of your origin so now what are the things changed center changed vertices changed foci changed and equation of directrices changed so these changes we must keep it in mind that as if the origin is shifted parallel to not rotation so it is parallel to that is this axis is your axis is parallel to x axis and minor axis is parallel to y axis then we can get this equations now can you tell me that as what is the equation of the axis in this case so equation of axis equation of axis means this is a line this means what y equal to k 
So, y equal to k is your equation of axis. That is the major axis equation or we can say y minus k equal to 0. So, here the eccentricity of the ellipse 9x square plus 5y square minus 30y equal to 0 is what? The options are 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 3 by 4 are none of this. So, first we must convert this equation. Okay, say 9x square plus 5y square minus 30y equal to 0 is given. So, 9x square plus 5 you take it out. So, if you take it out what you get? y square minus 6y, y square minus 6y. Now, to complete this what is required? Plus 9 minus 9 equal to 0 that is b square to be added. So, now it is completed. So, 9x square plus 5 into y minus 3 whole square 5 into 9 minus 9 is minus 45 equal to 0 or 9x square plus 5 into y minus 3 whole square equal to 45. 9 x square by 45 plus 5 into y minus 3 whole square by 45 equal to 1. Then only it becomes standard form. Now, this 9 and 45 can be cancelled, 5 and 45 can be cancelled, 9. So, it looks like x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So, x square by a square plus y minus 3 whole square by b square format it is. So, now here what they are asking eccentricity. So, first of all we must check that as what type of ellipse it is. So, first check that as either b is greater than a, yeah a is greater than b. So, now here root 5 is less than 3 because here 3 square is 9. So, root 5 is less than 3 that means a is less than b. So, a is less than b means you get eccentricity E equals root of 1 minus a square by b square. So, root of 1 minus what is a square here? It is 5. What is b square? That is 9. So, 1 minus 5 by 9. 1 minus 5 by 9. So, this gives us root of 1 minus 5 by 9 means you take LCM. So, 9 minus 5 by 9. Yeah, we get that root of 4 by 9. That will give us 2 by 3. So, eccentricity is here 2 by 3. So, the option is 2 by 3. So, now what we have? So, this is the equation we had. So, this equation you complete this square by adding 9 and subtracting 9 and then we complete or we bring that in the standard form of an ellipse. That is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. From there we have seen that as a is less than b. So, the eccentricity formula is root of 1 minus a square by b square. From there we get e equal to 2 by 3. Now, let us move to the second example what it says. P is any point on the ellipse 81 x square plus 144 y square equal to 1944 whose foci are s and s dash. In this sp plus s dash p equals, so they are asking. So, sp plus s dash p. So, remember the definition, the sum of the distance of a moving point from two fixed point s and s dash is a constant. It represents a ellipse and that constant is equal to 2a that means length of 
major axis. So we must get that as what is the length of A from this equation of an ellipse. So what is the equation here? X square by you get 24 plus this you get y square by 27 by 2 equal to 1. Now, it is in the standard form of x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Now, here 24 is greater than 27 by 2. Therefore, a is greater than b we get. So, a is greater than b. So, what is a here? Root of 24. So, root 24 means 2 root 6 we get. So, a equal to 2 root 6. Now, what we have the relation? We have to find sp plus s dash p that is equal to 2a. So, 2a will be 2 into 2 root 6 that will be 4 root 6. So, sp plus s dash p equal to 4 root 6 that is your length of the major axis since it is representing an ellipse. So, sp plus s dash p equal to this one.